guys you're welcome back my name is Bukumi Pikekran so guys this man actually came to complain about the mosque but he left let's check it out guys this man came to complain about the noise in the masjid during Eid mm. and went home as a Muslim oh, wow. Allahu Akbar Allah is the greatest oh, wow. on the day of Eid al-Fitr the people gathered at the masjid in Gold Coast Australia dressed in their best clothes perfumed with the nicest aromas smiling and looking forward to the Eid Salah they came in troves nodding joyfully at each other acknowledging their presence and putting forth their hands in salam while reciting the takbir all along mm. Eid al-Fitr takbir is an integral part of Islamic tradition reflecting the deep spiritual significance of the festival it is an expression of joy and gratitude a celebration of the blessings of Allah and a reminder of the importance of faith and devotion in the life of a Muslim the dhikr is a powerful symbol of unity and community it is performed individually and in groups of people from all walks of life and backgrounds Muslims recite the Eid al-Fitr takbir loudly from sundown on the last day of Ramadan until the beginning of the Eid prayer, which is conducted the next morning. The recitation of takbir in Eid al-Fitr is a beautiful and uplifting experience. It is a way of bringing Muslims together and creating a sense of community and unity. The sound of thousands of people reciting the same phrase in unison is awe-inspiring and fills the heart with joy and happiness. Brotherhood in Islam is highly encouraged, and Eid is a manifestation of the unity and brotherhood encouraged and fostered by the Muslim brethren. The children are always the most excited at Eid. They are fully aware they'll be entitled to little gifts, mm. money, and plenty of sweets and candy. Wow. As the masjid filled with devotees, the takbir being chanted in unison, the little kids screaming and playing, and the friendly banter of the worshippers, the area indeed became noisy. Across the road from the masjid stood a center for aged persons, and we all know that as people age, they enjoy peace and quiet. An old man who resides at the center for aged persons in Gold Coast could not handle the sound from the masjid, mm. and he walked across the road with his stick for assistance to complain about the excessive noise from the masjid that morning. Mm. He entered and complained to a person named Hajj Hussein Goss, who happened to be an active Muslim preacher in Australia. Now, this preacher, knowing the authentic Islamic way of handling people and showing akhlaq, good conduct, sat down with this old man named Brian for a good 10 to 15 minutes. He offered him food to take back with him, and upon the completion of the conversation, Brian, convinced by the encounter with the preacher, had voluntarily made the decision to convert to Islam. Mm. He repeats the Shahada, the testimony of faith, in both Arabic and English. After Hussein Goss and the rest is an outpour of emotion and congratulation embraces and wishes from the congregation of devotees at the masjid. Brian is accepted as a brother in Islam and he visits the masjid for Jum'ah prayers on Fridays mm. where he meets a large number of people. Mm. The people tell him he is fortunate to have been guided to the truth at his ripe old age, a sign that Allah loves him and has destined a better afterlife for him. Upon acceptance of Islam, a new Muslim is like a newborn baby, free of all sins, and this brother got this tremendous opportunity to be guided and have all his past sins forgiven. Mm. If a person keeps his heart free of bad thoughts and intentions and is open to the truth, the guidance of Allah will inevitably come. Two weeks post his conversion to Islam, Brian says he feels a deep connection and feels fantastic. This connection to Allah and his religion stems from purity of heart and sincerity within each individual. Continuing the good conduct, akhlaq, the people from the Gold Coast Masjid invited Brian 
and ate residents from the center for the aged persons for a sumptuous lunch. They welcomed them, made them feel comfortable, and gave them all a translation of the Quran at the end. The residents were beyond happy. Many people applauded the preacher for the way in which he dealt with the Muslims despite first entering the mosque to complain. May Allah bless him with the highest of rewards. Ameen. May the people of the Gold Coast Masjid be blessed with the best too for their hospitality, kindness, and warmth towards the residents of the aged care center. Ameen. Islam is a religion of peace, diversity, unity, and brotherhood. If anyone tells you otherwise, do your own research and start moving alongside the Muslims in your area and be surprised by their good conduct and manners. Ashadu. Ashadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Hmm. hmm. Wow. That was beautiful. I love their humanitarian service. The father, they, they welcome them with an open arm. They know once about Muslims that they are so hospitable. Yeah, that hospitability is really in them. And you know, I kind of understand the man because you know, when Muslims are actually praying, you know how their voice could come out so loud. So I'm sure the man's house is not far from the mosque, and he could not, you know, withstand the noise. And I, that, the one thing that really shocked me, father, how the man had the courage to actually step out of his house because he's already old. I had the courage to go to the mosque because me, I believe, even though the noise is kind of you know affecting you you should have gone to the room it would the noise to be lesser or somewhere else inside the house but this is tell you that this was really destined like it was really meant to happen it was meant to happen for him to actually convert because the normal day is not supposed to go there to complain but for him to actually add that strength to actually walk down there that's let you know that yes that was his day that was that's a sign that that will surely happen that was going to happen and the way they just you know received him with open hand you know talked to him spoke with him nicely and from there you know he just accepted islam and he took his shada and that's how you know he received so much love and you know he was able to learn so much from the quran this was really a beautiful one wow interesting thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye